Chase Young has just signed to the New Orleans Saints and literally five minutes after he got signed, I immediately started working on this video. Some of you guys may be saying, oh, Vic, don't you have a life? No, I don't. So we're going to be rebuilding the New Orleans Saints with the new addition of Chase Young. But if you guys are new to the channel, the channel is growing quickly. So make sure you like and or subscribe. Let's see if we can get 100 likes on this video. I would appreciate that. And I know there's been one commenter who's been raving for me to do a Saints rebuild. And now I finally have a real reason to do it with Chase Young. But for the team, Derek Carr is not the future. <laughs> this was a terrible signing the day I saw it. People were like, oh, well, Derek Carr is underrated, yada, yada. Yada, yada. This is an awful contract. This is a terrible contract for a team that is in major cap debt. This is that was an awful move by the Saints. I will 100% be not ashamed when I say that. Then Alvin Kamara down to start at. He's 29 years old. His contract it's coming to an end, but I have to pay him 29 million eventually. These are terrible contracts. Chris Olave changed his number to two in real life. I like that. Wearing number 12 as a receiver is kind of weird. I don't know why I felt the need to mention his number change, but whatever. For the O-line in the draft, the Saints may be going with offensive line because Ryan Ramchak is getting pretty old here. And we lost our guards in free agency, Cesar Ruiz and Trey Turner, I believe. Cesar Ruiz was a young, nice dev player, but if for Madden, but in real life, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't keep up with him. Cam Jordan, he's aging into the ground, so I can see the move with Chase Young. But my question is, how the hell did they get the money for Chase Young? They are in so much cap set, I don't understand how they're working around this cap. So Isaiah Foskey is probably going to take over. My God, Isaiah Foskey's head, bro. He looks like Megamind. I did not know he looked like that. Brian Brzee, he looks very familiar. I don't know why. Paulson Adebo, Willie Gay, uh, Demario Davis, Tyron Matthew, and of course, Marshawn Lattimore. But for now, team... Major cap debt. I'm here to fix it. Saints are always one of the hardest teams to rebuild because in Madden, to me, everything's about cap room. You can rebuild any team as long as you have a decent amount of cap room. They are in so much negatives and they are in such terrible contracts. Like Taysom Hill, in real life, he's a nice piece for the Saints. He's a very nice piece, very versatile. I don't want to pay a second string listed tight end 15 million a year that does nothing in simulation. It is an awful contract for this team and it's an awful contract for me and I can't get out of it. It's frustrating, but for now, let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm deciding to go a different route than offensive linemen because I'm fine with the way that they are right now. Adonai Mitchell out of Texas. Yes, I picked him over Xavier Worthy. I'm fully aware Xavier Worthy has a dev and Adonai Mitchell doesn't, but for the sake of this reboot, I think Adonai Mitchell, they need a receiver. I think he's a good one. Xavier Worthy probably will go off the board before he does just because he's the faster Texas receiver, but this guy has amazing route running skills, just not as fast. Still a very good player, A catching, A, a catching traffic, B stamina. Adonai Mitchell out of Texas to the Saints. In the second round, picking up defensive tackle out of Florida State, uh, Braden Fisk, 78 speed is wrong. This dude was so quick at the combine. I'm surprised he only has normal dev on this roster. 86 strength, 85 acceleration, normal dev. He is an athletic freak in real life for being a defensive tackle at 300 pounds. Didn't he run like a 4'6", 4 4'7", 4 something like that? Mega fast for being 300 pounds. 78 speed is definitely an understatement here, but for now, he only has normal dev. Now, this is the team after the draft. Adonai Mitchell is a 77 overall. I kind of want to put him in the slot. Oh, yeah, the Saints also got Cedric Wilson. Forgot about that. Chase Young's coming off the ed Bra edge. Braden Fisk is going to be a rush defensive tackle. Hopefully, he can get like defensive rookie of the year. Defensive, really, we look nice, but whenever Cam Jordan, Demario Davis, and Tyron Matthew eventually regress or retire, we're going to be in a, in a bit of a situation, but it wouldn't be the worst because their contracts would also retire with them. So I wouldn't mind that. But for right now, we got Sid from Toy Story out here. He's just, yeah, Sid from Toy Story's contract. I already went over this. Said, I don't really want you on the team much longer, but we're going to have to deal with you for now. And this is what we got. Donai Mitchell, I'm going to move to the slot so that way you can get more reps. And apart from that, let's move into the midseason for the first year. Five and one, top of the division. I'm surprised, but it's like how weak our division is. I mean, I'm surprised that the Falcons aren't at the top here, but hey, I'll take it. If we can ball out year one, that'd be pretty cool. But QB, I'm definitely going to take over Derek Carr. Derek Carr's only regressing and he's just taking up cap for me. So I want to bench Derek Carr. Negative 29 million. God, I really want Paul Sanadibo back. He's good, young, star dev. Jawan Johnson, I would like back as well. I, I, this sucks. This sucks so bad. Chris Olave, of course, I'm going to accept that option with Trevor Penning. 
I hope my entire defense just retires with their garbage contracts. Hopefully, magically, Derek Carr retires. I know he won't, but we are in a terrible spot right now. Can I re can I restructure Derek Carr's contract so that way he can have Paulson Adebo this year? Let me see if I can do that. Can I restructure just everyone's contract so that way I can backload them, which I know sounds worse, but I want to re-sign Paulson Adebo. Can I, I can't restructure your contract? All right, I guess that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, defensively, let me see if I can restructure Cam Jordan's contract. Yeah, I can. And cap space, I'll have negative 8 million this year, but the next year I'll be screwed even more. Um, can I restructure? I, I need Paulson Adebo back. I feel like it's a need to have this dude back, especially with his use, uh, youth. Demario Davis... So, can I restructure both of their contracts is the question, because if I can't restructure both of them, I will screw myself. Um, I'm going to try it. I've never tried this before. I restructured Demario Davis' contract to backload it, and then I'm going to try to restructure Cam Jordan's if I screw this up, please. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, my God. I'm going to be so screwed. I'm going to be so screwed. <laughs> uh, I can't restructure it to where I'm out of the negatives. So I'm screwed regardless. Great. 12 and 5 top of the division. This is the worst possible situation because now that I'm in negative cap room, I can't trade up for a QB. I can't. I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, well, you have a winning team, Vic. I don't want the winning team. I want to rebuild. Derek Carr, he's balling. He's balling, actually. Second best offense in the NFL. 10th best defense. Th he's balling. He's balling, but is he going to stay like this? He's, he's literally tagged as a bridge QB and a mentor, and he's a 72 overall, and he's putting up these numbers. He's going to regress, and I'm going to have to move on, especially from his contract, but he's balling, I, I will admit. Uh, Alvin Kamara, 4.5 per carry, 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns, nice season. Olave, 100 receptions, 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns. Adonai Mitchell, 11 touchdowns, 1,200 yards, 94 receptions. Amazing rookie year. Cedric Wilson, 5 touchdowns, 900 yards is very good as well. And Demario Davis, 125 tackles, tackles for a loss. 19 for Braden Fist, the risk rookie. Sacks, 12 for Cam Jordan, 6.5 for Chase Young, 6 for Braden Fisk, who's balling. 3 interceptions for Kyrie Jackson, interesting way to spell Kyrie. And one safety for Cam Jordan, zero defensive touchdowns. So if we can make a Super Bowl run of year one of the rebuild, it wouldn't be much of a rebuild, but it'd be pretty cool. Please lose to the Rams. I want a better draft pick. <laughs> Please just lose. Thank you. 38-13. Our team ranks were baller, but I still need to move on from Derek Carr just because of his age. And the Eagles beat the Jaguars in the Super Bowl. Darius Slay wins the Super Bowl MVP. Joe Burrow wins the league MVP. And Adonai Mitchell wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. Braden Fisk wins Defensive Rookie of the Year. That is perfect for the youth of our team. In the NFC South, Taysom Hill retires. That is great for our cap room. I would have much preferred if Demario Davis or Cam Jordan did. I know Cam Jordan just put up 12 sacks for us. I need this cap room. I'm so desperate. For the team upgrades, Derek Carr has superstar, but he's a 70 overall. Now, make this make sense. How do you get dev up, but you regress as a player? Make that make sense, dude. Alvin Kamara, he's regressing. Milt Williams regressing. Adonai Mitchell goes from normal to superstar. That's sick. Defensively, Braden Fisk goes from normal to superstar. That's sick. Cam Jordan goes back up to an X factor. Like Demario Davis, Cam Jordan, Tyron Matthew, um, Derek Carr, Alvin Kamara, Jamal Williams. I don't want any of these guys with their contracts on my team, but I'm just going to have to thug it out. Negative 20 million. Can accept Chris Olave's option. It blows that we lose Paul Sanadibo. He was a really nice piece for us. I'm going to accept the option for Trevor Penning as well and everyone else here i'm gonna lose out on and i can't even trade up in the draft because i'm in negative cap so for now let's just skip to it okay okay so i have a decision to make here two guys on the board at pick 24 out of clemson and georgia danny warner 511 229 a little bit on the smaller side elite throw power is what i like to see very slow not athletic at all c awareness not going to be good for his overall then b's across the board f injury injury is already turned off doesn't look crazy here, but Brand Brenton Potts out here, great throw power, good strength, a little bit more athletic. Didn't offend the, did, he didn't attend the combine. You know he's a baller if he didn't attend the combine, according to Bengal. A awareness, you know his overall is going to be higher. A medium accuracy, F juke move. I don't care. I'm not trying to roll out with this dude who runs a four eight. Brenton Potts. I didn't think I would have a QB this far down the board. He's a bigger guy. He's, a, he's only five pounds, well, six pounds heavier. He's three inches taller, though. 
He has a little bit less of an arm, but he's a little bit more balanced athletically. He has a higher awareness. I think I'm going to take Brenton Potts here out of Georgia in round one. Hidden Dev, 92 throw power, 74 speed, 83 acceleration. As I said before, I took him mainly because his awareness is high. His overall will be higher. And I think he's just going to be starter off rip because... Derek Carr is not only a bridge QB, but he's also a mentor, and I need to develop Brenton Potts immediately for this team rebuild. Now, this is the team after the draft. Potts here, already a 72 overall with this upgrade. He's a scheme fit as well. Field general awareness, throw deep accuracy, throw medium accuracy. 72, he has a mentor in Derek Carr, and I can't really get rid of this contract either. So, oh, I can. I'm going to save so much cap. I'm cutting him. I don't care if he's a mentor, I'll find a different one. Yeah, I'm cutting that cap out of my life. Kamara, Alvin Kamara, he was putting up some solid numbers. Oh, dude, I'll save so much money. I'm sorry to anyone who's fans of these guys. I'm saving so much money by getting rid of these absolute dog shit contracts. Vic, you're cussing on your channel, and my mom doesn't like that. I'm clicking off the video, but Potts here has two, two superstar receivers, a decent offensive line here. Fisk is already over Brian Brzee after one year. Cam Jordan, I didn't backload his contract. I did it to Demario Davis. I'm sorry. I'm cutting these guys. I'm I'm just biting the bullet on their dead cap, but I'll save more cap overall. We're we're tanking this year. Um, I won't save any money from cutting Demario Davis. I'll lose two hundred thousand. He's here for one more year. There's no point to cutting him if he's here for his final year, and I'm only gonna lose two hundred thousand by cutting him. This is better for the long term, for the longevity of the team. Granderson is here. Yeah, this is better for the longevity of the team. I'm going to go get a mentor, QB. Keaton Miller, not Keaton Miller, Kendra Miller is going to be the starter here for the back. And I'm going to put Adonai Mitchell back in the slot. I don't know who Briggs is. And apart from that, let me go root around in free agency here. I'm getting Teddy Bridgewater as a mentor. Going to get Taylor Rapp on a one year band aid player. And I'm getting Kayvon Wallace here as a Band-Aid free safety. 4-2, top of the division with no Cam Jordan, no Derek Carr, no Alvin Kamara, Kamara, whatever. Scouting national focus, I need to do safety. I need two new safeties. My Band-Aid players aren't going to last long. Chase Young for the negotiations. He just wants a bigger market than New Orleans. I can't do anything about that. This reboot is about him, but... I mean, if I have $102 million to spend now, would have been really nice in the previous season. Chase Young, sure. He's superstar dad. He's young. He's going to be our future edge rusher. Hopefully in real life, he can be that guy. Willie Gay, I know, got a contract in real life. I don't know how long it was for. I think it was only one year. I don't want to pay him. Only $5 million a year is honestly not a bad contract, but he's about to turn 28, which is when regression starts, so he won't even make it to an 85 overall. Kevon Wallace is a... Band-Aid player. Alante Taylor wouldn't be a horrible signing. He just doesn't want to be here, so I'm not going to force him to be here. Taylor Rapp, Band-Aid, Cedric Wilson, no. Jamal Williams, no. Demario Davis, I'm sorry, you're washed. And now, in real life, you're still good, but for right now, in Madden, you're washed. $80 million to spend in free agency. I'm so hyped. And then even after this season, we'll have even more money to spend because the dead cap will be gone. But for right now, let's move into the playoffs. We go from being 4-2 and two top of the division to 7-10 and 10 bottom of the division. All right, <laughs> coming off a 21-3 to loss against the Falcons. Brenton Potts is amazing, other than his pass rating. 21st best offense, 8th best defense. I'm assuming he has a lot of inter yeah, a lot of interceptions is an understatement. Jeez, dude. 32-21, to but there's potential here for sure. QB of the future, day one starter, 93 pass rating is awful. Kendra, Kendra Miller, terrible season. 3.4 per carry and only four touchdowns, dude. Did Potts just have touchdowns? Did I just see that? No, he had no touchdowns. Jamal Williams took four from him. Uh, Chris Olave, 107 receptions, 1,400 yards, six touchdowns. Adonai Mitchell, 10 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. Cedric Wilson getting in some nice reps, along with Foster Moreo with nine touchdowns. That's nice. Defensively, Demario Davis, 122 tackles, tackles for a loss. 32 for Chase Young, 17 and a half sacks. He's going to get an X factor. I'm glad I resigned him. Brian Brzee, six and a half sacks. Carl Granderson with six and a half. Braden Fisk with 15 tackles for a loss, but only three sacks. Three interceptions for Marshawn Lattimore. Safeties on team. One for Braden Fisk. Defensive touchdowns is zero. And the Chiefs beat the Panthers in the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl MVP. Lamar Jackson wins the league MVP. Chase Young gets Defensive Player of the Year. Brenton Pott gets Rookie of the Year, despite him throwing 21 interceptions. Is that a rookie record? Didn't Peyton Manning have the, like the rookie record for like 20 or something like that? 
Either way, for now, Brenton Potts is the Offensive Rookie of the Year. In the NFC South, Steven Nelson and Kirk Cousins both retire. Now, this is the team after the upgrades. Potts goes from star to superstar after winning the Rookie of the Year. Wow, what a superstar front here. Foster Moreo gets started, but isn't he like 30, 29, close to it? Yeah, that's rough. Defensively, what do we got? Chase Young is an X Factor after winning Defensive Player of the Year, no surprise. Briggs has starred Ev. And apart from that, some of these guys are just, again, band aid players. So for now, we're just going to rock out with this and move into the re signings. For the re signings, Brian Brzee, I'll accept his option. Willie Gay, no. Kayvon Wallace, Alante Taylor. Everyone else here, I think I've already said no to. Sad to see Demario Davis become this washed at 37. But apart from that, 102 million to spend in free agency. I don't think any Saints fans saw that coming within the second year, but we have a lot to move here. After free agency, I got Dave Montgomery. He apparently had a really high interest, and then as soon as I signed him, he has no interest now, but he's gonna be better than Kendra Miller. I know he's 29, but for now, it's what we're gonna have to rock with. And I got Ivan Pace Jr., young, normal dev, but still, he's gonna replace Demario Davis for now. This guy looks sick. Dwayne Radley out of Texas. Oh, this guy looks sick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this guy. His own coverage, A press, physical, his great speed, great strength. Not crazy, but sure. Top 10 pick. Dwayne Radley out of Texas. Six foot 183, hidden dev, 94 speed, 90 acceleration. He's going to replace Alante Taylor and definitely going to be way better than him with the A zone coverage, A press. He looks pretty sick. In the third round, getting left guard Chuck Moreland out of Florida State. 6'3, 330, 85 strength, 80 jumping, 80 acceleration, very athletic. Hidden dev, A's and B's across the board. Now, this is the team after the draft. Moreland is a 74 overall. Monty is just going to start for now. A.T. Perry is going to play in the slot. I kind of like A.T. Perry in real life. I went to a Saints game in real life, eight, and it was the Week 18 Falcons Saints. The Saints blew them out. A.T. Perry was balling in that game. It was so fun to watch. I uh, need a tight end. Definitely forgot about that, but Grubbs here is going to be the starter. Defensively, Radley is a 76 overall. He looks sick. And then I got this guy in the second round. He's 75, no dev. Uh, Howden here. How do you do? Jordan Howden out of Minnesota. He's going to be the starting strong safety for now. And Granderson, Isaiah Foskey, Foskey, whatever you pronounce it. Looks all good. Travis Gibson's pretty old, isn't he? Yeah, he's 29. Got to need to get rid of him. But the team, again, it's in rebuilding phase. We're in year number three. I still need to ball out in free agency, which I haven't been able to do. Prospects haven't been as good as I wanted them to be. But for right now, let's move into the midseason. Two and five, bottom of the division. I mean, at least I'm aware of this. <laughs> Saints, we suck at everything. That's just us. Scouting national focus. Safety still is a need for me, but I've already done that in the past. Receiver is fine. Tight end is a need, but is that something I really want to prioritize in the draft? Sure. Where the players are ready to negotiate. We have $159 million to spend. Chris Olave does want to be here. I don't give a shit. You're staying with the team. No, I don't care. You're getting tagged. <laughs> uh, Marshawn Lattimore. I'll do player friendly. Let's do three years with them, actually. I want him for the rest of the rebuild. Isaiah Foskey, he's just depth. I don't really care. Trevor Penning, he just doesn't like the scheme fit. I'll pay him extra to be here just because he's young. I know I'm paying overpaying for him, but it's fine. And he doesn't even want to be here. Kendra Miller, this isn't bad depth. He's kind of cheap. He's young. He has normal depth, but sure, it's not bad depth. I'll keep him here, and he actually wants to be here. Ryan Ramchek. I know he's going to regress by the end of the season, so I'm not going to pay him $20 million a year, so I'm going to wait on that. A.T. Perry, do I keep him? He was a very old rookie. But anyways, um, A.T. Perry, it just depends how he performs. I'm probably going to accept the option for Adonai Mitchell. Let's move into the playoffs. 4-13, and 13, bottom of the division. Let's go, baby. We're balling here. We need to make a complete turnaround for year number four. Brenton Potts sucks ass. Worst offense in the NFL. 14th best defense. Ah, uh, he's just, yeah, whatever. 89 passer rating. David Monty, 9 touchdowns, 3.7 per carry, 900 yards. Chris Olave, 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns. A.T. Perry, 6 touchdowns, 800 yards. Adonai Mitchell, 800 yards, 3 touchdowns. Defensively, Ivan Pace, 132 tackles. Tackles for a loss, 23 for Chase Young. Sacks, 12 for Chase Young. 5.5 for Granderson, 3 for Braden Fisk. Interceptions, 2 for Kyrie Jackson. Safeties is 1 for Brian Brissy. 0 defensive touchdowns. Chiefs go back to back again. Christian Harris is now on the Chiefs and he wins the Super Bowl MVP as they beat the Falcons 30 to 15. And he wins another back to back league MVP because he's Patrick Mahomes. And Dwayne Radley gets Defensive Rookie of the Year. That's awesome. In the NFC South, Demario Davis retires on the Panthers. Same with Micah Hyde, Cam Jordan, Khalil Mack. All of our cuts just went to a division rival and they all just dipped. Byron Jones, Jake Matthews, and Mike Evans all retired too. 
where the adjust lineup, Dave Montgomery has completely regressed. A.T. Perry, I didn't really see much from him. Defensively, what do we have? Ivan Pace gets start of. Howden gets start of. Radley. Okay, I'm, uh, come on. I'm going to change his dev. He got defensive rookie of the year, and they're like, mm, best we can do is start dev. Like, come on. If you get a rookie of the year, you're definitely getting superstar dev. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, CJ Stroud, I mean, that's a poor example. CJ Stroud is one of the greatest rookies we've seen. But, you know, you got Jamar Chase as an offensive rookie of the year. You got plenty of other offensive rookie of the years. And to be to be frank, he deserves a superstar dev. Dude looks like a baller. He is a baller. Granderson gets star dev as well, but he is regressing, I'm assuming. Is he not? Yeah. He's already 30. That sucks. But um, yeah, it is what it is. We have an 84 overall team. I'm going to have to make some mega moves in free agency and probably make some trades. For the players ready to negotiate, Chris Olave, dude, you're coming back. Like, I don't care what you say. No, you're coming back. I'm tagging you regardless of whether you like it or not. Donai Mitchell is getting tagged. Well, not tagged, accepted on his option. Trevor Penning, like, just, like literally just don't be a bitch, bro. Just come back. Like, you don't, you don't, okay, there you go. Here he signs, Travis Gibson, Ryan Ramchak. He is not really a cheaper contract, but I'll just sign him on a player-friendly deal so he gets back for the final year. Uh, Jordan Howden, worst comes to worst, I'll just re-sign him. But actually, it's a stupid cheap contract, so I'll just sign him the way it is. Extra money for him. A.T. Perry, sure, I'll just keep him. It's a stupid cheap contract. I'll have him as a number three in the slot. Everyone else here, not interested in tagging Chris Olave. He's going to play for us. Damn, that was a big tag. I only have 71 million now because Chris Olave was just being a whiny bitch. After free agency, I got Tyreek Hill because he's a baller with Chris Olave, Adonai Mitchell, got all the weapons in the world, Joe Thune, Carlton Davis, Kyle Duggar, and Zaire Franklin, just mostly as depth players here, but this will be a nice improvement to the team. Now I'm trading away pick number three in the draft, a next year's first and a next year's second for Jonathan Taylor. Yes, running backs are extremely overvalued in Madden and it's very frustrating but not only are they extremely overvalued but they're extremely important in simulation so I'm getting Jonathan Taylor for way too much compensation for them. In the third round getting a tight end Eric Porter out of Clemson he will be my final draft pick and then we'll just get into this fourth and final year. Now this is the team going into the fourth and final year Tyree Kill, Adonai Mitchell, Chris Olave, new tight end, great offensive line, Jonathan Taylor, Brenton Potts has everything around him. He just needs to produce for me. Looks like the AI got this guy named Spencer. Got so much depth here. The defense looks really nice. Got Carlton Davis. Kyrie Jackson's a star dev now. Just need to produce. Chase Young has been great for the Saints throughout the entirety of this rebuild. But for now, let's move into the fourth and final season. We made the playoffs. 89 overall team. I hope we would. 93 overall offense is kind of cracked. 10 and 7. Top of the division. Coming off, I lost the Patriots here. Faced the 11 and 6. New York Giants. Stats and awards. Brenton Potts finally played well here. Very nice season for him. Solid. Fourth best offense. 19th best defense. 4,200 yards, 30 touchdowns to nine interceptions, 102 pass rating. Looks nice. Jonathan Taylor, 21 touchdowns, 5.6 per carry, 1,400 yards. This is why I gave up so much value for him. Give him like 300 attempts, dude. Feed this man the ball more. Anyways, receiving wise, Tyreek, 1,300 yards, eight touchdowns. Chris Olave, 10 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. Adonai Mitchell, 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. Porter, three touchdowns and 600 yards. And this is why fourth string receivers aren't useful in Madden. A.T. Perry with nothing. Defensively, Ivan Pace, 139 tackles, tackles for a loss, 16 for Chase Young, sacks, 10.5 for Chase Young, 8 for Braden Fisk, 5.5 for Brian Brzee, interceptions, 5 for Marshawn Lattimore, safeties on the team, 0 defensive touchdowns is 0. Now let's see if we can win our first playoff game. This is our first time making the playoffs during this rebuild, and I'm not honestly not surprised the cap situation was so terrible, but for now, let's see what we got. 31-7 blowout. I mean, we're in the fourth and final year. I'm going to hop into this, see if we're going to beat the Cowboys in the fourth and final year with Chase Young. Here we are against the Cowboys. They start off seven off the rip. The offense has to respond, dude. We will not win the game if the offense does not respond. 21-0. We're getting, we're getting humiliated. Offense, you have to do something. You're 93 overall. I didn't expect my defense. This is humiliating. We just got... Oh, my God. This is so bad. It's too late now, offense. 7-38. to 38, We get humiliated by the Cowboys. And that's going to be the end of the rebuild. Zero touchdowns for Brenton Potts. He sucked. He was just, yeah, 61 pass rating. Dak destroyed us. I, I didn't expect my offense to do, I mean, my defense to do good. It was 19th in the league. But having the fourth best offense and only putting up seven points, it's frustrating. Really frustrating with like Tyreek Hill, Chris Olave, Donna Mitchell, Jonathan Taylor, and they do nothing. 
But anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching. Let me know which team you want me to rebuild next. This was a failed rebuild. I will try it again later. But for now, this is going down as a failed rebuild, as I said before. And uh, thank you guys once again all for watching. Make sure you like and or subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.